All right, and uh, the, the last thing I want to show you in the demo for this section is uh, skipfish. So there are two flavors of it. First uh, is coming from uh, Google, I think directly. So it was developed by their internal security team. Uh, as internal as <laughs> a security team in Google uh, could be. So uh, they shared it to the public. It's open source. You can just uh, check it out from GitHub or installed in home or installed in Homebrew. Uh, so after some bug fixing, you will get it running. And uh, one thing I want to tell you is uh, it's really easy to burn your server down by using Skipfish. Yeah, it's really fast. It's wicked fast. Uh, and the second flavor is uh, provided by Subgraph Vega. It's like the graphical user interface over it. So Skipfish, of course, has a lot of configurable options. We will use some default one, I guess. Yeah, so we'll just specify an output directory. And uh, give it the base URL. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's showing you some some help message. Yeah, After, I'll just I'll just start. Uh, we'll start doing things in sixty seconds, or we can just press any key to continue. And it has started. We can see the progress. By this percentage here. And there is some meta data on the statistics of what's going on. But that doesn't give us much information about the vulnerability of the code until it's finished. We can see the list of threads. Yeah, just by pressing enter. And then go back to the statistics I hope you can hear that <laughs> the cooler the fans on my laptop are going crazy The percentage always changes because as it discovers new functionality, it just adds it to the scope and uh, the proportion may decrease as well as uh, increase with time. Yeah, I think I will take a pause in recording and then uh, come back with the final results. <laughs> 